On November 19, 2024, a significant milestone was achieved by the Italian Air Force, as their Eurofighter Typhoons, deployed in Lithuania as part of NATO's Baltic Air Policing BAP mission, conducted their first-ever air-to-ground training exercises. This development underscores the operational versatility of the Eurofighter Typhoon and reinforces Italy's ongoing commitment to NATO's defense efforts in Eastern Europe. The Italian Typhoons, part of Task Force Air 36th Wing, took to the skies for a critical training mission at the Cudgel Range in Lithuania. Equipped with Advanced Lightning V Laser Designation Pods, LDP, and carrying GBU-48 Enhanced Paveway 2 bombs, the Typhoons showcased their precision-guided munitions, which utilize dual-mode guidance systems, GPS and laser, enhancing their effectiveness in a variety of combat scenarios. This exercise included realistic close air support, CAS operations, where Lithuanian Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, CHTACs, directed the Typhoon pilots toward their targets, improving tactical coordination and ensuring interoperability between NATO's air and ground forces. The training also focused on familiarizing Italian pilots with the Baltic operational environment while highlighting the importance of meticulous planning, as weapon danger zones and other safety protocols were established for the mission. While the primary role of the Italian typhoons in Lithuania is conducting quick reaction alert QRA missions, their successful integration into air-to-ground exercises demonstrates their multi-role versatility. These aircraft can seamlessly transition from air-to-air -air combat to ground attack operations, providing NATO with a flexible and capable asset for a range of potential military operations. In addition to the air-to-ground training, Italian typhoons conducted joint exercises with Lithuanian military units, simulating ground strikes using the aircraft's onboard cannon and evasion tactics against simulated surface-to-air missile SAM threats. Defensive countermeasures, including flare deployment against infrared-guided missiles, were also practiced, reinforcing the Aeronautica military's readiness for high-intensity combat situations. Italy's presence in Lithuania is part of the Baltic Thunder II deployment, which began in August 2024. This operation, which includes Eurofighters from multiple Italian Air Force wings, highlights Italy's steadfast contribution to NATO's collective defense in the region. The deployment, which involves aircraft from the 36th Wing, Gioia del Col, the 4th Wing, Grosseto, the 37th Wing, Trapani, and the 51st Wing, Estrana, as well as specialized intelligence and surveillance units, reached full operational capability, FOC, on August 1, 2024. By October 2024, the Italian detachment had logged over 500 flight hours, conducted 20 alpha scrambles, and made significant contributions to NATO's airspace security in the Baltic. The successful air-to-ground exercises served to further strengthen the integrated force capabilities within NATO, ensuring that the alliance remains prepared to address evolving security threats in the region. The Eurofighter Typhoon, which entered development in the 1980s, was designed to address the need for modern multi-role fighter aircraft as older fleets like the F-4 Phantom II and the Mirage III began to show their age. A joint European program was launched by Germany, Italy, the United Kingdom, and Spain in 1983, with the aim of producing a cutting-edge fighter that could serve multiple roles and bolster the defense capabilities of NATO. Despite early challenges, including France's withdrawal from the project in 1985, the remaining nations continued to refine the Typhoon's design. After years of collaboration and technical development, the Eurofighter Typhoon entered service in 2003 and quickly became a cornerstone of European air forces. Today, it is a powerful symbol of successful European defense cooperation and a key asset in NATO's military capabilities. The successful completion of air-to-ground training exercises by the Italian Typhoons reinforces Italy's integral role within NATO's defense strategy. As NATO continues to strengthen its forces in Eastern Europe, the Aeronautica military's participation in missions like Baltic Air Policing ensures that the alliance is ready to meet any challenge, with the Typhoon standing as a versatile, highly capable asset for years to come. Thank you.